chit chat y'all y'all know how i do this i'm talking about what's going on in my personal life what i'm watching on youtube and what i'm watching on tv we're going to be we're going to be separating and moisturizing my hair while we're doing this because it's a lot. It's a lot, girl. Volume, volume for days. And we're going to, you know, get into it, okay? So, in the middle of me um, doing a, um, just a life update or whatever, I'm going to show you guys some personal things or body care things. What did he say? Body stuff that I've been purchasing. And I wanted to use them for a while and let you guys know how they are going. So let me go ahead and take this hair down, girl. Oh, why didn't y'all tell me that was stuff on the floor? Hold on, now y'all gonna see my big butt and see how much weight I gained. We ain't gonna talk about that though. Anyway, so um, let's just jump right into it and I'll talk about a little bit of what I've been noticing on social media. So anyway, you guys, personal life, not a real big update because it's only been a few days. Not even, a, has it been a week? Almost a week since I last talked to y'all. Um, Nothing else is going on. I did go visit my sister. My parents didn't know I was coming. It was a surprise. Not necessarily a surprise because I was really there to see my sister. Um, so yeah, I ended up seeing her. Well, mainly because she had my great niece, y'all. She is so precious. I'm gonna see if I can input a video down here. She is, girl, get it together. She is so freaking sweet and she's an easy baby. You know what I mean? She's just a baby being a baby. She doesn't do anything extra. She's very, very active to be six months old. She's very petite child she moves a lot and i'm not used to that with a baby because jb was a chunk J at that age jb was at his one year weight he, yeah he wasn't playing around child <laughs> jb yeah but this baby is very very hyper and active and she likes to play a lot and so i went to go visit my sister there in Kilgore, like I said, this past weekend. And let me tell you something, girl, as soon as I got home, I had to take a shower because I was telling JB, I'm like, I smell like baby. I smell like a baby. And he's like, what's wrong with that? I said, no, I'm in my emotions. I can't be smelling like no baby. I can't, I mean, I literally smelled like Similac, baby magic, baby slob, and it's cute and it's precious. But I'm like, I'm gonna get emotional. I gotta get the baby scent off of me. I can't be smelling like no baby going to bed. No. <laughs> so, this child. So anyway, you guys, um, besides that, what do I have down here? I know this is a little TMI, but I'm supposed to be moisturizing my hair. I was about to detangle. Y'all see how, why didn't y'all tell me? So let me show y'all what I'm gonna be using. Um, Afflegy, this is not really to detangle, but this is just to spray on my hair. I used to use, <laughs> yeah, girl, is that going to help my eye? Because golly, I'm just going to spray it lightly because I already sprayed mist and I'm going to be using the ORS hair moisture. I really need some new products. Correction. I want some new products. So, baby, I woke up in the middle of the night with the worst freaking cramps. And I'm a type of person, I normally, I know this is TMI, you guys. I normally don't cramp like that. At least not in the past, you know, I would say eight to 10 years, almost 10 years. But, but this was bad. Like I woke up, it woke me up. Got up this morning, cramp, 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 bloated. I have to take medication. I rarely have to take medication, especially since I hit like 35. And I'm like, what the heck? Okay, so moving on, what I was basically alluding to when I first started the video is that I do a lot of lurking on social media. And I'm in a lot of spaces that you guys are probably in. Um, and there was, I'm not going to really go into detail, but there was someone who shared, and I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to say which platform it was, but basically stating how things have changed really and how mental health is still a problem, if not worse, even though we are out of quarantine and all of this. Um, and you, you guys, we were all together. We were rocking through it in the midst of it. And even as an introvert, having 
being forced to basically sit down and not do anything and stay inside, even though, you know, I'm like, I'm okay. I don't need to be around people because I'm an introvert. But as people, as humans, we need that interaction with other people. Um, and thank God I have, you know, a family at home, but there are people that didn't have anyone at home. And I honestly think collectively it has had a negative effect on us. Um, and so I saw a very disturbing comment from one of my subscribers and I was actually fairly close to contacting this individual, but I decided against it. But I guess my whole, my entire point is that mental health is still a real big issue right now. So I'm just asking you guys, just collectively, how are you doing? How are you holding up during this time? Um, I've even noticed some of my subscribers who don't even comment anymore. Like I have a few, I think you're lurking, but I have some that used to comment and after COVID hit, completely stopped. And the one, number one, I am thinking of, Till this day is plush fur and i have another youtube friend she said the same thing that she doesn't even see and so i get concerned but in the midst of all that i'm just asking how are you guys doing how are you holding up are you doing well um vent drop it down below let's share let's encourage each other that let's uplift each other because i am concerned because i'm telling you when i saw this comment it was and i'm not going to say exactly what it was because it's triggering but basically she'd rather be dead like she'd rather be dead so yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that so let's get into some stuff i've been buying you guys not a lot to be quite honest but i want to share some stuff just in case you want to buy it um first up let me just say this i did end up purchasing a product that's going to be in the product reviews. I am so behind on product reviews. I am so sorry. I literally have like half a dozen of products sitting in that bathroom that I need to review. I just not had, I haven't had the time to do it, y'all. That's just, it's so easy to do these type of videos to put it up real quick and done. When I do my product reviews, first of all, because the layout here is different, I have to do it in the bathroom. Then I have a shower review I want to do. Um, There's a product I want to use in the shower. And that's an entirely different setup. Girl, excuses, excuses, I know. Then again, product, and I've honestly been eyeing it for years. <laughs> yeah, years. And I'm not one to do that, but, girl, I'm a Leo. I stand by my word. When I say I'm not reviewing any new products that I'm not familiar with, I meant that. But this one has been catching my eye for years. It is the Cresso Pello Deep Conditioner and the Green Container. Now, one of you babes has said, hey, are you, would you be interested in, basically, girl, I'm just making it up, but, but basically you commented on one of my pictures in the community page, would you be interested in reviewing the Cresso Pello Deep Conditioner? Yes! <laughs> you ain't got to ask me twice. Amazon immediately, but I ended up purchasing it it through um ebay actually and so it is on the way baby and that is going to be the first product i'm going to be reviewing once i get myself together it's going to be here like within three or four days so it's coming early august i have a i have so many products you guys and jb has been using my products so look this boy has been really doing his hair which is good he used up all of my what did he use up he used up all of my cream of nature wrapping mousse and he used it to define his curls. Oh my golly, I didn't even get a chance to use it. JB Hughes of all of that. I do have this spray. He's using up all of it. So I can't even review that. <laughs> but that's okay. So let me show you guys. Let me hush up and show you guys some things I purchased. Some of the stuff is new. And then some of the stuff isn't oldie but good. Let me tell you something. Queen Helen. <laughs> Super cholesterol. Y'all, I love that this has a pump. And I just pop it into another container and use it. And so I purchased this through Amazon for like $6 or some change. Literally less than 8 excuse me, less than $10. And I can honestly get about half a dozen usages out of this because I like to mix this product with other things, okay? And now we have some beauty body products. Let me tell you something. When I go over to my girlfriend's house, sometimes we cut up, sometimes we don't. This particular time, we were cutting up. I was in her, well, we were in her bedroom, and she had all these mist, body mist. And I'm like, oh, I started spraying this on. I'm like, 
hmm, this smells good. So, um, so this is by Bath and Body Works and it's open sky. But let me tell you something. She was over here just last week and she saw it on the counter and she's like, you helpful, you stole my... <laughs> She's like, you old hussy. I'm like, sis, I did not steal this from you. I bought this. And she's like, you already used up all of that and you just bought it. I said, no, I've had it for a few months. Now, if I would have stole yours, I would have used it immediately. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. And I got this through Amazon also. Well, this, this was through Walmart and that body spray was through Amazon. Now for some other stuff. Dove Exfoliating Body Polish Brown Sugar and Coconut Butter. Now, I've used the other um, scents or whatever. This is the first time I've used this particular one, but I have really been enjoying this exfoliating. I tend to exfoliate my whole body at least twice a week. It's really important, especially my legs. And I also use a bristle brush to smooth it on. Uh, last but not least, I'm going to say this disclaimer. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this company just because. But this particular product I live by. It is the Johnson's and Johnson's oil gel. This shit right here, baby. Let me tell you something. After I use, after I shave my legs, use a scrub. I go in and I use this gel. Now, I only use this once a week, you guys. I try not to use it as much. And you don't need a lot because a little bit goes a long way. This smells good. Your legs feel awesome. And be on the lookout for that review. I promise you, you guys, it is coming. It is coming. So let me continue to twist my hair. Let me take this down. So you guys, what I'm watching on YouTube, let's go ahead and talk about this hussy, Carly. Why you have to lie, Carly? I mean, I'm just thinking of all the, the hustle and everything you went through to fabricate this entire story. Like, this is too much. I mean, and I still think, as I stated in my previous chit-chat, that she had help. There is no way you could have done all of this without help or people knew about it. Perhaps you didn't help, but somebody knew about it, okay? Let me tell you something. If any of my friends come to me and say, hey, sis, um, I have this idea. Hell no. Hell, find somebody else. I'm not the one. Not only am I, and I'm not the one, but as soon as the authorities come to me, I'm telling it. I'm going to tell. I, I, I just am because you ain't going to be having me in prison with you using the same eyeliner so anyway you guys carly you know we now know that she lied about it and i agree with you sis i had someone on my previous video that said that her and her mother um have a they have issues they really do and it's not to make fun of it so let me read you guys her statement so you guys i'm gonna read this statement and i'm pretty sure this is coming from her attorney or perhaps it was someone that's representing her my client apologizes for her actions to this community the volunteers who were searching for her to the hoover police department and other agencies as well as to her friends and family we ask for your prayers for carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward understanding that she made a mistake in this matter Girl, hell no. I mean, <laughs> now I feel bad for not laughing at all the memes I was seeing. I, I immediately closed them out because I was like, this is not funny. There's another black woman lost. And, you know, I did. Because you know, I mean, I'm a very optimistic person. I really am. And so I'm like, oh, it's sad. And I was praying for her. Moving on, okay, I, the only thing I will have to say is that I would be very curious to know, besides clearly you got some issues, clearly, why, 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 why did you take your lace front and <laughs> Why would you do that? Was it a shake and go or was it one of those over 200? Yeah, I don't wear wigs, but I know they can be expensive, especially if you get it customized. Why would you do that to your lace front, Carly? I mean, come on, sis. Get it, get it. 
Y'all moving on, other stuff I'm watching on YouTube. I told y'all, I believe I mentioned it in my previous one of them. This is getting a little uneven, so hold on you guys. I had unsub from a YouTuber named Peach. Peaches, 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 Peaches. Peach McIntyre, is that her YouTube name? Still, just this morning, I'm looking at shorts and one of her shorts appear still as a recommendation. Does that, why does that happen even when you unsub? But I watched it because the title was of course, Why My Husband and I Are Having Issues Part Two. Let me tell you something. I, I am convinced now at this point that this young lady is doing stuff for views. It's all a money grab. Um, and I guess his name is Wood, and she was basically stating in the, this particular short, stating how he has all of these different platforms that he's making money on. He has Twitter. He has like two different Facebook pages. He has Instagram. Oh, and by the way, he's 100 subscribers from um, Instagram to where he can actually start making money. Hint, hint. Look, you cannot push and force no man to work. Either they want to do it or just like you can't force them to change, especially a man. Either they want to change or they, and if you push them to do it, they're only, only going to do it because you pushed them to do it, not because they wanted to do it. And ultimately they may fail or something may happen and guess what's going to happen? They're going to blame you because at the end of the day, you're the one that was irking them to do it. And I was talking to my sister, not to laugh about the situation, because there's kids involved, which is absolutely disgusting in a sense that your kids will always see this. I always preach to you guys, everything you put on the, in the, on the internet is open, it's for grabs. People are going to be making screenshots. So your children, as they grow up, they're going to be seeing this stuff. They have people that know them at school that, that are seeing this stuff. That is an embarrassment. It really is. And so um, my sister was even telling me, before I get into that, another one of her videos came up where she was counting money that she was taking out of the credit union. Cash, like thousands of dollars. Do y'all know how dangerous that is? Like seriously. That is extremely da dangerous. You got an entire family, little children, and you online counting cash. It's not it, It's not hard to find somebody. It's really not. That is so dangerous. And I'm not wishing ill will on anyone. All I'm saying is that you got to be very careful what you do. People have been killed over less. People have been killed over, over nothing, let alone a stack. I think it was like $10,000 in cash she was counting. So besides that child looking at mukbangs videos, because since, you know, I'm fat, I might as well watch other people eat too. <laughs> we can all be fat and happy. Um, child, I got hooked on a person's, he's an actual, I don't know if he's an auditor. I don't know what his exact title is, but he basically show up at people's house to evict them. And he's let me look him up. Look him up for you guys. His name is Final Notice with oh, Off Ofneo. Girl, what type of old ass name is that? Ofneo, Ofneo, <laughs> Ofneo Pen. Is that supposed to be opposite girl? Ofneo Pen. Final Notice. Evictions caught on tape. It is absolutely amazing to me how. Many people know that they're getting put out. They know that it's coming and they don't do anything about it. Now, there are some situations where people that I actually did feel bad about where there was one where a guy, the actual, um, uh, what do you call it? The person that owns the home, the person that's actually, what do you call it? Yeah. There was actually one where the owners were there and it got ugly. I mean, the guy was like, I just paid you. I just paid the money. So why are you, why am I getting evicted? Well, come to find out that there's also late fees involved. And depending on when you paid it, because it's coming from the court, right? Because the homeowners have to go through a court process and all of that. And so the process is lengthy. So even if you paid the person, it's already gone through. 
and evic the eviction is already going through. So the guy that's doing the eviction is basically knocking on the door and he's like, okay, this is an eviction. I'm giving you five minutes to collect your personal belongings, get your cell phone, get your cell phone charger, get your cash out. Child, one of them, he said, get your drugs, <laughs> get your drugs. And I'm like, what the heck? And so I will say that a good 70% or 80% of these people, the houses are filthy. They're filthy, excuse me. They're nasty, they're filthy. And you know they're not, they're not paying, but there are a few where they have been paying. There was one of another person who had just filed for bankruptcy. And I think there were about, child, like a several adults, able-bodied working people in this house, actually. And they still got evicted <coughs> because just because you filed for bankruptcy, that's going to take a long time. Like if you're gonna, if you have not been paying your rent, okay, and you know you're gonna be behind, you need to start doing stuff minimum a month in advance, because everything takes a long time. It's just gonna take, you know, there's a process to it. So I'm like, child, you would never keep catch me slipping. There was another one where, oh, this is what I was gonna say, where the one where the um, homeowner showed up. There were situations or it could be situations where you actually are paying your rent or, and that person's just pocketing the money. You know what I mean? They could just be pocketing the money for themselves. That's just a sad situation all the way around, y'all. It really is. So, y'all, I actually finished my hair on, on time for a change, all this damn talking. So, <laughs> um, that's all I'm watching on YouTube. What I'm watching on TV. So, I am... I am bad about this, meaning that I jump around from series. I'll be watching, for example, I'll be watching The Walking Dead and then have a nightmare and completely stop in the middle of it and go watch something else. And I won't finish it. I've done that numerous of times. I've done that with The Wire, with Stranger Things. I've done that with Better Call Saul. I mean, it... it the list goes on and on. But I took this time um, this week to go back and finish some of the series that I just stopped watching. So I did watch, finish Dirty John season two, girl, Betty Roderick, because I, I'm here for Betty. But the last episode just made me think how crazy narcissist, I'm not gonna say crazy, that's not nice. Because I think Dan pushed her to that level. How narcissistic Betty uh, was and still is. However, I think both her and Dan were narcissistic, which is just a toxic recipe for disaster, to say the least. So, Dirty John season two, I finished. I also finished Stranger Things, the last episode. And then I was like, I thought this was the end of Stranger Things. Um, but clearly it's not. I'm, I'm recording. You know how to run the bath water? That's it, you guys. I am rambling at this point. This child, JB, you want to come say hi? Big baby. Come here. Say hi. Hi. Look at we twins, y'all. Mm. You have anything you want to share with them? But look at my YouTube channel. It's supposed to be video. This is not your <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Take care. Bye.